Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It is fantastic to have you here as ever. On today's episode, we're going to be making up some tooling for the power hammer for a special bib project. But before we get into that, today's sponsor is GlassesUSA.com. I'm wearing their Westerns in Tortoise, which is my absolute favorite. And at the end of the video, if you go to my link in the description, you're going to be getting a special offer from them. So check them out at the end. More on them later. I hope you all saw the video of us painting this power hammer. I'm so excited with how it turned out. It looks really, really good. Before we get cracking on making some tooling, the, you will see I have a sign on it saying, do not turn off. And the reason for that is I don't have the oiler on it right now. And I dropped the V-belt. So we need to get this bell housing off so we can sort that all out. When I took it off, I found that this pulley had actually come loose again. Same thing we found the very first time uh, we open this up. So what I'm gonna do is degrease this grub screw, degrease the hole, and then we'll put some Loctite in and really crank down on it. Make sure we keep this not slipping around on the shaft. This is that belt I was talking about. Right, so we got the hammer back up and running. Now onto what the project is. It's not the project for this video, I don't think, unless I all of a sudden become a very, very fast metal worker. But have a look at these glorious bits, 1045 round. These are three inches or three and a half inch rounds. Hot rolled steel. And I tell you, it's just yelping possibility. That steel is for making some sledgehammers. We've got to make some sledgehammers. It's very exciting, some 12 pound sledges. This is what a 12 pound sledge looks like, this particular one. It was made by Brent Bailey, and this was given to me by Brian Brazil. And this is just a lovely sledge. In the past, I've made a small number of sledgehammers, most of them looking a little bit like this. So this is kind of square circle, rounding hammer, you know, forged troughs, forged cheeks kind of style, which looks pretty cool. I don't know if we're gonna go full on this style just yet. That is to be decided. But what I do know is this is a heavy piece of steel. It's also a very large diameter of steel, which means that, you know, the tongs that I'm usually using are not gonna be up to snuff for this. When you have a big piece of steel like this, not only do you need to be able to grip onto the big piece of steel, but you need some extra leverage on the tongs for the weight. This is a pair of tongs we found in a local, um, like, antique store, funnily enough. And these are a lot closer, but they're really not built for that size of stock. But you'll see, by having a tong that has a much longer rein, for that heavy stock, you can push down against this hand and get some leverage on that heavy bar stock. Same thing applies with our kind of pickup tongs. It's we want to make sure that we've got a good gripping size for it, but also that there may be a little bit longer for grabbing onto it and getting some leverage as we pull it out of the fire and manipulate it to punch holes, etc. So, long and short of it is, there's a number of tools we need to make. First and foremost, we need some tongs to hold the stock. We then need a punch, which we've actually already forged. A few episodes ago, you saw me forge some tools. This is gonna be the punch for punching sledgehammers, so we're gonna keep working on that. But for now, let's cut some stock and start forging material into some tongs. So for our two pairs of tongs, we're gonna use some of this right here, some two inch round 1045. We've got this cut. The forge isn't hot though. So while it's heating up, I wanna make something for the power hammer, which is a table. Much like what this has here. This one here is a bowl shape, which is a little bit of a nuisance. It makes cleaning more difficult, but it's also not as wide as I'd like. I remember seeing a lot of folks have a very big, wide, flat plate steel table underneath their die for putting tooling and equipment on while they're working, and uh, I want the same. So I'm gonna take a rough measurement with the tape measure. We're then gonna cut it out of MDF, put it in place, and get a feel for what those measurements give us with that little table, adjust them before we cut it out of steel. Okay, I got it in place. Looks cool. 
But I definitely feel like now we see where it fits back there, we could use some material in these corners. Okay, here is the rough idea, but the forge is hot. So let's get this stuff heating up. Alrighty, we have some reins. Time to forge the jaws. This has been a fun Sunday afternoon forging. Glad to be making some progress on these monster tongs. All right, it's the end of the day. I'm gonna stop there for today, so I have some time to go for a bike ride, and I'm gonna bring you along. If you've been following me on Instagram, you'll have seen some of my bicycle rides, and I'm absolutely loving it. You will have also seen these sunglasses, which are Ray-Ban Wayfarers, from glassesusa.com. What's awesome is their prescription. I always wanted a pair of Ray-Ban Wayfarers, but I always struggled to find a place where I could get them in my prescription. And I never wanted to spend the money that these things cost. That is, I never wanted to spend the money that these things cost when you buy them off the high street. But because Glasses USA gets you insanely cheap prices by cutting out the middleman, you can get a pair of prescription eyeglasses for as little as $30, which is mind-blowing. And you can even get designer brands like these Ray-Bans for significantly less money. You don't need to leave your house to buy eyeglasses anymore. If you've got your prescription, just plug it in and then use their virtual try-on feature to dry all the frames that they have on their site. And if you've got a pair of glasses but you can't remember your prescription, they now have a prescription finder app, which is awesome. Right. Back to riding. I can't do this whole talking and riding thing much more. My lungs are about to burst. Okay, good morning. I'm back. I'm now gonna work on uh, working out where we need to bend. As you might tell, we're trying to make these similar to this style of tongs from Steve Howell of Ballad Forge. He gave me these, I believe, and these are just one of my most favorite tongs ever. I love them. So you'll see, we have one bend coming up to the jaw, then we have a pivot, and then one bend for the reins. And make sure we have them sized somewhat appropriately. Make some marks with a chalk. I tell you what, I'm definitely getting the impression that I don't quite have the right angles. Yeah, that doesn't look too good. This angle needs to be much tighter, so let's heat that up and try and fix it.
Alrighty, so I cut a slot in there with an angle grinder as much as I could. But naturally I ended up running out of room as I hit this. So what we're now gonna do is heat it up. I've got it rigged up so I can lock it in the vise while it's hot. And I'll then take a chisel and open it up. I'm just pumped that we have this huge pair of tongs forged. This is the biggest pair of tongs I've ever made. To hold some of the biggest stock that I've ever bought to actually forge under. And that's just a thrill. It's exciting. For this beautiful new power hammer, we got a pair of tongs. We're on our way to smooshing some big chunks of steel while held under control and in a very safe manner, which you know, it's all very good. Today's video was sponsored by GlassesUSA.com and I want to ask your opinion on which of their frames you think look the best. You obviously saw the Ray-Ban sunglasses I got. They're actually called Justins on the GlassesUSA.com website. These ones here are the Westons in Tortoise, my absolute favorite glasses so far. But I was also able to pick up the Ray-Ban 344 7Vs. These are the Ototo Prieros in clear. These are the Revel O'Sullivans in black. And then the Ototo Talinum in black and gold. Folks, please make sure you get your next pair of eyeglasses from GlassesUSA.com. And what is awesome is they have an incredible promotion running right now for the first 30 of you. For a limited time, if you hit my link in the description and use code ALEC30 at checkout, you're going to be able to get 30% off Ray-Ban and Oakley frames, which turns it into just the best deal ever. Thank you, GlassesUSA.com, for sponsoring this. Thank you guys for watching. See you all very soon. Bye-bye.